In this example, we're going to find the inverse Laplace transform of s plus 2 squared over s cubed solution. So to do this, we'll start by expanding the numerator. So we have the inverse Laplace transform of, and there's a formula we can use to expand the s plus 2 squared. Basically, you square the first one, so s squared. You multiply these two and you double it. So 2s times 2 is 4s. And then you square the last one, so 4. That always works whenever you have uh, something like this, uh, something plus something squared. The formula is a plus b squared. a is the first one, so you square the first one. You multiply them and double them, so 2ab. And you square the last one, so b squared. And this is all over s cubed. All right, and we're going to use the fact that the inverse Laplace transform is, li is linear. So we're gonna break this up into three different inverse Laplace transforms. First, let's break up this fraction though. So this is the inverse Laplace of, so S squared over S cubed, very nice, plus 4S over S cubed, plus four over S cubed. All right, so now we can clean it up. And again, we can break it up into three inverse Laplace transforms. And since it's linear, we can also pull out constants. So let's see, S squared over S cubed, that's gonna give us the inverse Laplace of one over S, really nice, <laughs> plus four inverse Laplace. S over S cubed is one over S squared. Then plus or inverse Laplace, one over S cubed. All right, so let me refresh your memory on some of the formulas we're going to use in this problem. So first of all, this one is just going to be one um, because the Laplace of one is one over S. So the inverse Laplace takes one over S and sends it back to one. So that's pretty easy plus four times, and so to figure out this one, recall that the inverse Laplace of n factorial over s to the n plus one, this is actually equal to t to the n. So here, um, it's one higher on the bottom. If you think of this as one factorial, okay, over s squared, it's one higher, so it's t to the one. So this is just t. Okay, here we have one over s cubed. Remember it's one higher on the bottom, so we need a two factorial here. I'm just going to put it there in yellow, so I'm forcing it there as a two factorial. But if you put it there, you gotta take it away. We'll divide by it out here. So this is going to be plus four over two factorial is four over two, which is two, times, and again, applying this formula, going to be t to the n, n here is two, so this is t squared. The final answer is 2t squared plus 4t plus 1. Pretty decent example.